거짓과 진실. We are playing two truths and a lie. To my right, we have Professor Dan. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. To my left, we have Jordan Teddy님. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 아니 교수님 네. 부모이신데. You are a parent, and sure your, your kids are on a break, summer break. Yes, they are. 오늘부터 예, 방학이라고 합니다. <laughs> Good for them. They yes. probably have a lot of hung right now. They are. They're full of hung. So. Yeah. Uh, not so much for the mom and dad, though. No, there's a bit of han, I guess, <laughs> for us. <yeah. laughs> the hung versus han on summer break. Yes, kids not an easy task, parents. right? <laughs> What about you, Jordan? Are you a hung man in Saram? I'm a hung man in Saram. Are you? Yeah. Okay, do suck, do sucks. Um, I don't know what t i l s a k means. What kind is of, that? Kind of go, lifting up your shoulders. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Tilsuk, bouncing tilsuk. your shoulders up yeah. and down. That's a me. Knee, a knee slapper, toe tapper, are you? All of the above. All of the above. Maybe that's a lie. Who knows? I can't tell. That's how good they are. <laughs> <laughs> Two truths and a lie is the game that we are playing. 세 문장 중두 문장이 진실이고 하나는 거짓인데요. 오늘 테마는 뭔가요? Talking about cities, I believe. Yes, all that's right. correct. Mm-hmm. Cities all around the world. 그래서 준비해 봤는데요. 오늘 이부 퀴즈는 세상에서 인구가 제일 많은 도시는 어디일까요? What is the most populous city in the world? 1번 도쿄, 2번 델리, 3번 상하이인가요? 이번에는 nonsense quiz가 아닙니다. <웃음> Don't try to be creative. We want the facts, not the opinions. <웃음> 다시 한번요. 세상에서 인구가 제일 많은 도시는 어디일까요? Send us in your messages. 샵 1013으로 담은 50원, 장문 100원. 유료 문자 보내주시면 추첨을 통해서 커피 쿠폰 드리겠습니다. All right, who goes first? Professor Me. Dan? Oh. 미래부터. Oh, 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 대리님부터 <웃음> 가겠습니다. <웃음> 갈게요. <웃음> All right, 1번. 울릉도는 8,700여 명으로 대한민국의 가장 인구 적은 도시입니다. Mm-hmm. 2번. 도시 빼고, 아, 서울 빼고, 대한민국의 도시 명 중에서 순 한국말로 된 도시명은 하나도 없다. <웃음> 그럴 수가. Mm-hmm. And number three. 대한민국의 가장 면적이 작은 도시는 경기도 구리시다. Oh, interesting. 구리 구리 옆 구리. Yeah. <웃음> interesting. Okay, so should we backtrack? I mean, num- number three, 삼 번은 대한민국의 가장 면적이 작은. Mm-hmm. So the smallest by area. Yeah, and so 면적 here is, is area. Oh, land area, good yeah. one. Yeah, and so uh, 구리, for those who are unaware, are, is right next to Seoul. Uh-huh. Seoul's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> is it not included in Seoul? <laughs> Separate city, right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And if you've ever ridden your bike along the Hangang, mm-hmm. you, you might have passed uh, 구리시. Is that where, is that where the, uh, uh, the really pretty hotel is? Is it yeah. on the Walker east Hill. side? Walker yeah, Hill yeah, Hotel. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's I'm not to say that. Sorry. It's very, very <laughs> close. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm, it's a beautiful direction. area. Yeah, it really is. Very green, right? So, yes. Yeah. And so that is the smallest city in Gyeonggi. Yes, it is 33 uh, square kilometers. <laughs> wow, that's... How big is that, like, time-wise, um, if I were walk, to walk from one end to the other? Well, it depends on which direction you walk. There's some skinny parts. Oh, okay. There's some, there's some longer <laughs> parts. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting-shaped city. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah. What, kind of, um, what kind of cities are there? How many cities are there in Gyeonggi, though? The province Lots. of Gyeonggi. 28 or 30? Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah but it's not, How do you know that on the top? I, I, I could be wrong. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's 165 or 64. Mm-hmm. Four cities in Korea. Oh, oh this is in wow. Korea, and then and this Hanbandu. all of Korea. Ah, Guri is the so. smallest by area. Oh, wow. okay. So, Gyeonggi to 뿐만 아니라 대한민국 전국 다. Aha. Uh-huh. Yep. 33 제곱미터. Wow, that does sound small. I think Seoul is about an 2,000 mil. Uh, okay. That is pretty small. Wow. Okay. Uh, but then, okay, then 일본, 일본, you also say that Ulumdo is the smallest. Well, this is by Ingu. So Ingu uh. is population. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so their population is 8,700 people. Mm. 
8,700 yeah. people. Now, I've been to Ulongdo. It didn't you? seem that small. I mean, 사람은 많지 않은 거. Did you go in 1975? Because in 1975, <laughs> there was 30,000 people living there. Wow. Okay, no, no. I'm 10 years old. Yeah. 75년에 그렇게 많은 사람들이. Yeah, so after that, mm-hmm. the party kind of slowed down, and now there's only oh, 8,000 sh- left. My goodness. Yeah. 근데 제 질문 하나 던져볼게요. 네, okay. 던져보세요. 울릉군이죠? 울릉군은 도시가 맞나요? Is it a city or is it a... It is a city. It yeah. is a city. Oh, yeah, just okay. like Jeju is a city, uh, oh, Ulungdo so, is a city so as well. well. Okay. Because we should specify, because mm-hmm. Jeju-do is, a, is a, an island. That's right. Mm-hmm. Ulungdo is yes. an island. island. Yes, okay. that's, that's a good specification there. Do means island. Mm-hmm. And so here I said Ulungdo, so mm-hmm. the island is, uh, is a city. It's just like city. Jeju has two cities, that's right? Because right. it's really yeah. big. Um, Jeju has uh, s o g w i p o mm-hmm. and Jeju city. Gotcha. And then Ulungdo just has Ulung city. Ulung. Okay. Interesting. All right. And then number two, Seoul b e g o in Korea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's Seoul is the only uh, name that is full 100% Korean. Right. So Seoul doesn't have Hanja. It actually That's does right. have some. Uh, it has a designated Chinese name mm-hmm. in Han, like a uh, Chinese letters, but not uh, Korean Hanja. Ah, gotcha. Um, so other than Seoul, b e g o means mm-hmm. to take away that one as an option. Oh, Busan? Busan? What's the Bu stand for? Well, I don't know yeah. all the Hanja. Come uh, on, Teddy. <laughs> you are the Hanja expert. Uh, yeah, but I know Busan is definitely some kind of mountain. Yes. Some yes like a right. uh, Bu mountain. A rich mountain. It could be. <laughs> I know at one time it used that one, but I think it changed. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. But does that mean just currently or before, like, I don't know, a right millennia now. ago, Sorab or d a r g u b or... Oh, that's a good... That's This thing, yeah. this, uh, so right now, mm-hmm. right, right, right now, now this okay. is the truth. But uh, hundreds of years ago, mm-hmm. there was so many cool, pure Korean names cool, that weren't cool. that aren't being used anymore. Oh, and then they changed it. Yeah, at some point mm-hmm. they they changed it to all um, uh, Hanja names mm-hmm. so to like kind of organize. What things. about Jeju? Wouldn't Jeju be a Jeju? Do Hanja? Yeah, Jeju means it, uh, a, a city across the water. Oh, oh. Interesting. Ju oh, is the, like, the city. Gyeongju, Gwangju, mm. Jeju. Oh, so that, that, I think, has, yeah. that definitely has Hanja. All right. But. Well, it's time to decide. I'm really stuck. I don't know which could be a lie. These are really good, yeah. Um, 교수님은요? <sighs> 전 느낌. Well, like, what's your 전, gut 뭐, feeling? 전 의정부에 사는데 구리는 그만큼 <laughs> 작지 않은 것 같기도 하고 uh-huh. 좀 미스터리인데. And then 아, 1번은 맞긴... I'm just really good at guess. I'm going to place my finger on whichever number. <laughs> and hopefully... n m m i n i m o Okay, 3번 갈게요. 손가락이 3번으로 골랐는데요. 전 2번. 설마 이 전국에서 딱 서울 빼고는 하나도 없는 거는 믿기지가 않네요. Yeah. There's got to be some small place. Like in Daegu, there were small place names like Bangoge or... Yeah. Oh, actually, oh, that okay. might have a, a hunter. Maybe But anyway, there's got to okay, be okay. one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Uh, 총 정리 한번 해보겠습니다. 교수님은 2번이고요. 저는 3번을 꼽았는데요. 1번. 울릉도는 3,700여 명으로 대한민국의 가장 인구가 적은 도시이다. 맞나요? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Trick. <laughs> nice yeah. one. Oh my gosh. So, Professor Dan was on the right track. Oh. It's, it's Olungun, which is oh. a county. Very it's nice. not a city. So, it is the smallest uh, population of people mm-hmm. living together in Korea, but uh, it's not a city. Gotcha. Oh, so, so Ulungdo, the, the name of the it's, island. Yeah, it's Ulung, Ul, Ulungkun. Kun. It's the county. It's the, it's the county gotcha. name. Yeah. Well, there you go. 그렇다면 서울 빼고 대한민국의 도시명 중 순한국말로 된 도시명은 하나도 없네요. 맞죠? Oh, interesting. I never knew that. That's a fun fact. Very, very cool. And all of the names were Hanja before mm-hmm. they uh, reverted Seoul back. It used to be Hanyang, right? Ah, When everything right. was Hanja, yeah. and then now it's Seoul again. My oh, goodness. Mm-hmm. 그리고 3번 대한민국의 가장 면적이 작은 도시는 경기도 구리가 많네요. Uh, There you go. I'm going to have to explore Kuri now. Smallest city, yeah. (laughs) Why not? It'll take (laughs) just one day and afternoon. (laughs) Well, there you go. Jordan gets two points for both (laughs) Professor and I. If you're just joining us now, we're talking all things about cities and wondering if you know what the most populous city in the world is. (laughs) 
오늘의 이부 코이즈는 세상에서 인구가 제일 많은 도시는 어디일까요? 1번 도쿄, 2번 델리, 3번 상하이인데요. We're talking about Japan, India, or China. Which of these countries has the most populous city? in the world. 샵 1013으로 담은 50원, 장문 100원 유료 문자 보내주시면 추첨을 통해서 커피 쿠폰 드리겠습니다. Alright, 교수님 음. You're up. 네, 1번 스웨덴 수도인 스톡홈에서는 아기 타는 유모차를 미는 승객의 무임승차가 허용된다. Uh-huh. 이거 버스에서요. Right. 2번 중동 아랍 에미레트 연합국 가장 큰 도시인 두바이의 내국인 비중은 15%밖에 안 되며 외국인 거주자들 85% 차지한다. 음. 3번 파리에는 신호등보다 더 많은 멈춤 표지판이 있다. Fun facts here. Yes, and, and my, you know, kind of trivia type questions yeah, here. Yeah, so. <laughs> these are fun. 일본 가겠습니다. I didn't mm-hmm. quite get the full understanding. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, one. so a couple of good words there. So, Sudo, of course, is capital, like Sudokwan in Korea is the metropolitan region, right? Uh-huh. And then Yumocha, nice easy one there, stroller. So, someone. And then this was kind of tricky. So, Agi Tanen Yumocha. So, a, a, a stroller with a kid or baby riding it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and someone pushing that. So, Minen Sengek. So, a passenger Sengek there. Uh, is allowed, right? 허용되는 거. 무엇을 허용되냐면, 무임 승차. Can ride for free. So, 무임, <gasps> 임 here would be the, the money you pay. So, no pay, 승차 means get on. So, no pay, free ride, basically. Wow. No pay to get on, right? So, so pretty cool. So, in Sweden, uh, we should specify in Stockholm. Yes, yes. I don't know if it applies to the other cities. Yeah. If you're pushing a stroller with a kid in it, 네, you, and the, you and the kid can ride for free. Absolutely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This feels less like trivia and more like a life hack, like know-how. <laughs> Pro tip, yeah. Jordan, get in the stroller. Yeah. Right. You get in the stroller, I'll push it. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Free ride for days. I wonder if there is a 나이 제한 같은 거 있나요? 저도 그거는 잘 모르겠고 일단 아기 타는 뭐 그런 없으면 진짜 조린 대리님 데리고 가서 I think the bus drivers they have good sense of humor and sweet I think <laughs> they would appreciate laugh, right? that interesting okay so we don't know if there is an age limit to the kid or no idea or how weight many limit kids yeah. or weight limit, limit. Yeah, or how many yeah. could it be like a pet too nowadays there's a lot of yeah, pets that's, dogs that's yeah. a good question on mm-hmm. the cute little carriages right? yeah so, Okay, 이번은 uh, in the Middle East. Yes, in the United Arab Emirates. So in this case, United is 연합국, so United States uh-huh. of the Arab Emirates, right? So the UAE. Uh, the largest city, Dubai. Now, this is really interesting. 내국인 비중. So the number of citizens is only 15%. So they're called Emiratis, so pe- citizens okay. of the UAE. Uh, whereas 외국인 고주자들, so the number of foreign residents, Tops 85%. So. I feel like this is a little believable. Mm-hmm. I've, I went there around five years ago. But it's really 5 years ago. There are a lot of people in the world. That's right. In the world. Yes, in Malaysia, in the Philippines. In Indo. In Indo, right. In Africa. Yeah, and so I feel like it's kind of easy to believe mm-hmm. that Unless you just want me to. Don't. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> Leading you on there. Right? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like this could be a fact. And That's it's not just, just the UAE. Other countries in the GCC too and like the, the Middle East have really? similar population distributions. Mm, so. I wonder why. Mm. All right. Number three. In Paris. This is a fun <laughs> fact. <laughs> Shinodeng is traffic light. Yes, right? traffic light. So, 그것보다. 많은 멈춤 표지판이 있다. So 멈춤 표지판, I guess, could also be 정지 표지판, right? So a stop sign, yeah. Interesting. So. Um, that's probably because of the, uh, I would say, pedestrians, the amount of people who are walking versus sure, driving. Sure, yeah, just to make it safer, right? They have um, more stop signs, right? So. Mm. 저도 그 uh, 파리에서 유학했거든요. Wow. Oh. Yeah, and so 거기 있는 동안 골목길이 아주 많고 아~ 큰 길이 별로 없고 큰 길이 있더라도 그 로터리 같은 라운드아웃 많아요. 그래서 음, 믿을만하다고 생각해요. 믿을만해요. 음흠. 
그러면 1번밖에 없네요. 믿을 만한 게 저한테는 <웃음> 2번이고 믿을 만한 게 조던 씨한테는 3번이고. <웃음> What do you say? Is it is it 1, 2 or 3? I the 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 15% number. I know that that Dubai is really really international but that 15% only? Too low. No man I am. Too low. Okay, are you going to go for number two? Yeah, I'm going to go number two. Okay, then I'll go for number three. <laughs> <laughs> We're <just> switching. s h a m e s I'm going to go with number three. Let's 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 go with 중동, 아랍 에미리트, 연합국 가장 큰 도시인 두바이의 내국인 비중은 15%밖에 안 되며 외국인 거주자들 85% 차지한다고 합니다. 맞나요? Yes. Yes. <웃음> This yes. is ridiculous. This is true too. 그렇다면 3번 <웃음> 파리에는 신호등보다 더 많은 멈춤 표지판이 있다. No. Uh, should I explain this? Yes. 설명드리자면 2000시 uh, 그 원래는 있었는데 아마 유학 유학하실 때 uh. 있었겠지만 uh, I think in starting or finishing in 2013, so 2013년까지 uh. 다 뺐어요. Oh, the stop 표지판, signs. Not a single stop sign left. Really? Right. And they said 사고 뭐 발생률이 낮아졌어요. Really? 감소됐고요. Oh, yeah. 다, uh, 다 빼고 나서. So, uh. Because you know in the US we have so many stop signs and 그것도 사고는 자주 발생하는 uh. 지점이죠. Yeah. So. That was two years after I left. So. Uh, just, there we go. Just so you know. <laughs> It was a fact for you then. <laughs> yeah. But now it's a lie. Well, congratulations, Professor Dan. And for myself, one point for me. <laughs> Jordan Tainim, you are the loser today. <laughs> 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 Well, before we let you go, we have to give out the answers to our quiz. 세상에서 인구가 제일 많은 도시는 어디일까요? Which could it be? Getting in some messages. 3820님께서는 3번 상하이 인구 200, 2000, oh, sorry, 2400 만이네요. 수고하세요 라고 보내주시는데요. 수고하세요 라는 그런 의미는 어, 맞다고 하는 거잖아요. But... Unfortunately, I n e e d a Sorry. Shanghai actually has uh, 27 million. So, 2700 man. So, I don't know which year you were looking at, but Shanghai, uh, it's number three, actually. It's the third most populous city. Yeah, I think people are thinking because it's China, it must be. 사, 아니, 아, 8451님 인구 밀도 제일 높은 곳은 일본 찍어볼게요 라고 보내주시는데요 일본은 나라이기 때문에 오답을 드리겠습니다 <웃음> We're looking for the cities <웃음> 1177님 2번이에요 2번에 맞출 거예요 라고 보내주셨는데요 2번은 델리 그렇죠 Lots of people would think also India 아쉽게도 오답입니다. 그렇다면 4022님 도쿄에서 산육기 우동 한 그릇이라고 보내주셨는데요. Yes! You got it. 4403님께서도 도쿄 코로나 때문에 올림픽도 연기됐죠. 아 oh, 맞아요. Hopefully we'll be able to see uh, these talented athletes come out soon. 2802님께서는 도쿄 도쿄 한 번도 못 가봤는데 코로나 끝나면 딸이랑 꼭 가보고 싶네요. 라고 보내주시는데요. 정답입니다. Yes! 도쿄가 사실 3,700여 아, 명이래요. So 37 million people live in Tokyo. And so Tokyo is at number one. And then, oh, sorry, 3,700만이라고 합니다. Um, Tokyo is at number one as the most populous. Delhi is at number two. And Shanghai is at number three. They are quite close, but... Um, Yeah, Tokyo is the correct answer. 2802님께서도 정답, 도쿄! 도쿄 한 번도 못 가봤는데? 아, 읽었네요. Sorry. <웃음> 9769님, 도쿄, I guess. 정답입니다. Yes! 아, 마지막으로 8001님, 일본, 도쿄. 
도쿄가 제일 많다다니 어, 충격 받은 사람은 저뿐인가요? 충격에서 못해 어, 나온 나오고 있어요. 맞습니다. 의외죠. It's such a small city by size, I would say. Actually, don't get, go, don't <laughs> quote me on that one. But uh, 충격이긴 해요. It's quite a surprise. 어쨌든 저 어쨌든 커피 쿠폰 드리겠습니다. Congratulations to 8001 name. And once again, thank you very much to Professor Dan and Jordan for being on the show. Thanks for having us. Good times. We'll have to see you guys next week.